very hard not to be impressed by such such a uh, success from your first sort of single. I mean, we wrote this song in our bedrooms, like you know, like two, just last year, and, and it's like so crazy now to think that millions of people across the world are, are listening to it. I think it was a very gradual process. I think uh, you know. It, we didn't really choose a, st a certain style. And I think even now on the album is, is very eclectic, you know, very different styles. But um, over time, we've been sort of honing down the sound to what, what is essentially the shepherd sound. It's just one of those things that kind of happens naturally. Okay, well, George is charismatic and uh, fun. Got handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Emma is fiery and she is um, fashionable. Michael is a super nice guy. <laughs> uh, Dean is hilarious and dedicated. Jay is has a, an ear for for sound and he's a style icon. <laughs> uh, Amy is. Caring and hilarious. As we said before, each song is very different. It's all pop music, but um, you know, there's a, each song has its own identity. So there's jazz pop and there's um, electronic pop, blues pop. So um, I think that you know, if if you like pop music, you'll find you know there's something for everyone. Trying to say, <laughs> um, but it also has themes like underlying themes of the underdog and, and trying to find hope, and you know seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Even though times might be tough, um, you know there's going to be an, there's going to be a, a better a better day to come. So it's here I stand as a broken. <laughs> no. Happy all the time. no one is it's happy all the time. <laughs> but um, well, we're pretty positive yeah. people. Think. They're happy on the outside, but on the, on the inside, the lyrics are actually kind of more emotional. Probably easier for us as a family, anyway. I'm not sure about other bands, but yeah, it works pretty well. It's just good because you can be honest. Uh, you know, we're, we're pretty honest with each other all the time, and um, especially in a creative relationship, it's important to be. To, to have that honesty and you know to be able to tell someone when something doesn't work. Yeah, if, even if we have a fight, it's over in 10 minutes. So that's the good thing about being siblings. Um, Who makes the decisions? Yeah. The audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we work pretty well as a team. Everyone's, um, you know, got their strengths and I think um, that's what makes it work so well. Um, it's a democracy, so if something, uh, if we can't agree on something, it's just majority rules. Can you feel it? Now it's coming back. We can steal it if we bridge this. The three songwriters are influenced by um, a lot of old school pop music, so um, the classics, like um, the classics, the classics, <laughs> uh, Elvis and um, Fleetwood Mac, Fleetwood Mac, Bee Gees, Paul Simon, Eric Clapton. <laughs> Anybody else? Beatles. The Beatles, of course. But um, some modern, some modern influences include uh, John Mayer, Fun, Coldplay. Coldplay is a big one. Coldplay. <laughs> I think we all agree on that one. <laughs> recognize that I like, I guess in admit to liking, yeah. <laughs> that I'm embarrassed about yeah, like, pretty much every, every song. <laughs> we like Backstreet Boys or something. <laughs> yeah, we like, well, Emma and I really like 90s music and songs that you just forgot existed. So, um, like Say Love Me by Bewitch. Yeah, Say Love Me by Bewitch, you guys remember that? <laughs> classic, another classic. I can't go on Celine Dion. <laughs> There's a lot of guilty pleasures on our iPods. <laughs> Everyone got, has them. I've got a lot of Disney songs. <laughs> yeah, from The Lion King, you know, from um, Beauty and the Beast and that sort of thing. I think, um, you know, Disney songs are, are always so well put together uh, and they, they're always great for not only kids but adults as well. And even though it might not be, a lot of people might not want to admit that, but 
yeah, Disney songs are great. Well, yeah, I think the thing that we like about Coldplay is that they, uh, they've had the longevity and, and they, they have managed to connect with, you know, just people of all ages and all walks of life, you know. Uh, so many people love Coldplay from, you know, kids to, to grandmas and grandpas. And I, I think um, they also like to change it up with every single album, you know. Every, even though you can still recognize them as Coldplay, every album is, is different and you can tell that they've grown as artists and that they've developed their, their sound and their songwriting. So that's, that's kind of what inspires us. And their live performance as well is almost impeccable. Hopefully we're, you know, touring around and sharing our music with the world. Yeah. In control. I reckon we, we could be in control of, of surrogate robots, <laughs> which are playing the band <laughs> instead of us. And then we can stay home, and then they can just play it on Tour of the World. That would be good. <laughs> no, we just hope to bring out more albums, and um, we want to obviously build our fan base and um, continue touring the world. With surrogate robots. <laughs> <laughs>